name is Ken Fernandez, and welcome to my channel, Gamers Genie. Today, we're going to do an unboxing video on the game Ticket to Ride Nordic Countries. Now, I've kind of grown to this one as my personal favorite, and you guys will see why when we unbox this. Unless you've already played this game, then you know why it's my favorite then you know why it's my favorite, because I've mentioned it in previous unboxing videos of a certain color I like in uh, board games that rarely shows up in board games um, or anything. Come on, people. Let's, let's, get in, let's get that in gear. Okay. But we'll talk more about that at the end. Um, but, uh, you know, the people who really like Ticket to Ride in my family, I like it okay. I'll play it quite a bit. I have the highest scores on like pretty much all the Ticket to Ride um, online games in my family. So, you know, I do play it enough. Um, but, you know, it's really Jordan and my mom and her mom. Those are the people in our family that kind of like this game the most. But Nordic Countries is the one that is the one that kind of really got my eye. Um, I also like how um, in America... I don't know what this all this is supposed to represent in, in the Nordic countries, but I definitely know in America that it has a lot of Christmassy stuff on the board, like on the box, on the board. You got Holly, you got Santa Claus. At least I think that's Santa Claus. You got a reindeer. I hope I hope I'm right. Um, and it's got like you know a train because it's ticket to ride. Um, but it really feels very festive. I like it. I like how festive it is. But that's enough talk about the box. Let's crack this nut open, see what's inside. Okay, so we got our box. I like all the winter stuff. And the rabbit, the cute little rabbit. Unless you watch Monty Python and the Holy Grail, then not so cute. There's a cabin in the woods. And, uh, you know, got, you got snow. There's the holly. There's Santa Claus. On the, on the uh, website for Steam, uh, they call him SantaBot. So I guess that is Santa Claus. Plus it looks like Tim Allen. I want to say that. Um, Disney, if you, are una if you are unaware of this, uh, please don't sue Days of Wonder. Okay, we're going to cut across here. It shows, like, the board and all the components that's in here. And I'll kind of do some close-ups on the cards. They're train cards. We've seen them before. Okay. This is probably going to be the last big box ticket to ride I'm going to get. I don't really have any intention of getting it. I think it's Germany that's the last one that I have. That's the last big box. Because I have Europe, U.S., and Nordic countries. I think Germany's the last one. Okay, here's our rule book with all of our nice shiny rules. And I know all the rules for this one because I played it like a ton online. And here's our advertisements for Days of Wonder games with, you know, three pages dedicated to Ticket to Ride. Sometimes you kind of forget. Sometimes, like, I kind of forget until I, like, actually go through the catalog, that, oh yeah, they make other things. Because <laughs> I think we all, like, go, Ticket to Ride is the only thing that exists in, uh, in this, right? Okay, we're going to open up the board. And, you know, like I said, it's got, you know, kind of a winter motif. But it's Nordic country, so, you know, ice is the thing. Wow, this is a bigger board. I'm only used to it online. Oh, and there's the holly again. I'm going to really look up Holly after this. Find out what it what it's, like, originally used for. Unless you guys know, put it in the comments below. If you know what it what it was, like, a traditional thing it's used for. So this time, we have black trains, we have white trains, and we have my favorite color of all time, purple. We have purple trains. I'm going to be playing as th these trains at all times. In fact, I'm going to look up to see how many trains are in this to see if I can just use this permanently in all maps. Like U.S., Europe, you know, all the map packs. Okay, and we got our little place markers. It's kind of cute that they put it, 
put it in like a normal Ticket to Ride board, when in reality, it's a three-player game. That's a little weird. That, in my opinion, it is a little odd that, that, that that's it, but I'm pretty sure there's a reason for that. Oh, nope, no little tab. So we're going to open this up. And of course, I'm going to zoom in to show you guys the cards. Because these cards are pretty unique compared to a lot of other Ticket to Ride train cards. Okay, there we go. We got, these are our tickets. This is just a, a train card. Got the snow and everything, and everybody likes that. It's nice. So if, you, if you're looking for something cool to play during Christmas, I, I suggest this game. In fact, I might do that Christmas-themed board games. I did Halloween-themed board games. Maybe now I should do Christmas. We've got our tickets. Okay. Yeah, that's right. The thing is called Globetrotter, and it's uh, you take your most completed, and the player who has the most completed tickets gets Globetrotter, not longest route. So you can try for the longest route as you want, but it gets you nothing. And all these cards, all these train cards and everything, they all have snow on them, which I think is just really cool. It gives um, it gives the game a little extra theme to it. goes very well with the theme. I think that's fantastic. I'm actually going to put the Globetrotter onto the ticket. I'm, I'm not going to comment on that. I'm going to put that on there. This is going to be a pretty quick unboxing video compared to the other two that I did uh, recently the Sleeping Gods, and the uh, Oceans. So, I guess now you know the order, but we got more snow-themed train card, cars, cards, cards, with a D, cards. I have to remind myself that. That was for me. Because I say train, I'm going to get two train cars from the top of the deck. And I'm like, okay, how am I going to do that? So then I'll take these. I'll put them right here. I'm going to take these out. And I'll put the ticket right here. And we're going to put the board right here. And I'm not going to put the, the advertisements in there. Uh, but this goes like this, I think. Okay. And then we're going to go the board back on. I'm going to zoom out. And there you go. That's everything in Ticket to Ride Nordic Countries. Well, there you go. That's everything in Ticket to Ride Nordic Countries. I have the U.S. map, the world map, um, the Europe map, several map packs, and I have this one now, too. Um, I, I'm not planning on teaching any more Ticket to Ride games uh, for, at least for the map packs. But for Europe and Nordic countries, let me know if you want to see how to play these. Just let me know down in the comments below, uh, and I will see what I can do. Uh, also, as usual, let me know who you want to see host this, Jordan or myself. Just let that, put that down in the comments below as well. If you enjoyed this unboxing video, give it a like. Hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to be notified for videos just like this. Be on the lookout for possibly the upcoming uh, how to play video on this. However, I do want to say this. Uh, Nordic countries and Europe are, you know, they're very similar to the U.S. map of Ticket to Ride, which I've already taught. So if, you, if I do teach it, I'll just teach the differences and not the whole shebang. Uh, if you want me to teach the whole shebang, let me know in the comments below. 
and yeah, we'll see what we can do. Um, but if you want to know how to play Ticket to Ride in general, just click on the link uh, to my How to Play Ticket to Ride uh, US and World map. I'll put the Ticket to Ride Rails and Sales How to Play, and I'll put them both down in the description below as well, so feel free to click on those. Um, yeah, check them out. We'll see you there. But until then, thanks for the views. Mm -hmm.